Carol's was founded in 1960 by Herb Slotnick, and the restaurant was very popular throughout upstate New York over the next two decades. The fast food chain had a yellow slug for a mascot in the beginning, and their best-selling burger was the Club Burger. At its peak, they had about 150 locations, mostly in New York and Pennsylvania. With competition popping up on every corner Carol's operated, the chain decided to cut a deal with Burger King in 1975. Many of the locations converted over, and Carol's became the largest franchise owner of Burger King restaurants. The last remaining Carol's closed in 1981. Rack's Roast Beef was founded in 1967 by Jack Rocheman in Springfield, Ohio. The original name of the restaurant was Jack's Roast Beef and the name changed a couple of times before they settled on Racks. It was largely a regional chain, with locations initially in Indiana, Ohio, Illinois, and Kentucky, but it eventually grew to 504 locations in 38 states. The company declared bankruptcy several times, and locations began to close. During the early 1990s, new ad campaigns were tried, but to no avail, and the chain faded into obscurity. Although the majority of locations closed, there are still a handful that are still around, but it no longer is the chain that it once was. Noggles used to be the place to get your Mexican food fix in Southern California. The taco and burger chain was founded in 1970 by a former Del Taco partner, and in 1979, the small chain was sold and then expanded rapidly. Within five years, they had 275 locations, and they would end up merging with Del Taco by the late 1980s. Although Del Taco took over, they did incorporate many of the Noggle menu items into their own, but otherwise, they shuttered most of the locations within seven years. By 1995, the last Noggle's location closed in Carson City, Nevada. Arthur Treacher's Fish and Chips was named after the British actor that played a butler opposite Shirley Temple. The chain began in 1969 and rapidly expanded during the 1970s. However, during this time, the price of cod quickly rose and it became way too expensive to serve the fish for such a low price. This is when Arthur Treacher's lost traction and started to decline. In 1979, the restaurants were sold to Mrs. Paul's and a cheaper fish was substituted. Customers took notice, and boycotts led to the company changing hands a few more times, before landing with Nathan's Famous. Although Nathan's still owns the trademark, and there have been talks about a revival, there is only one freestanding location that still remains. Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio is the last place where you can find the green and yellow lantern that keeps loyal customers coming in. White Tower began as an obvious knockoff of White Castle restaurants in 1926. Based in Wisconsin, White Tower is remembered for their unique architecture. White, impossibly clean, stylized medieval castles. The small, bright white buildings were intentionally designed to contrast coal-stained downtown buildings. This was the place where blue-collar workers could buy cheap burgers by the bag, not to mention they could get free meals on Christmas Day. At their peak, there were 230 locations, but as populations moved away from the city and into the suburbs, White Tower saw a decline. By the end of the 1970s, there were only 80 restaurants, and they continued to close. By 2005, White Tower was gone, and the trademark had expired. Dog and Suds was a chain of hot dog and root beer drive-ins that dotted the Midwest during the 1960s and 1970s. The chain began in 1953 and featured an iconic red and yellow butterfly wing building with a sign featuring a floppy-eared dog wearing a chef's hat. The chain became the go-to hangout for teens, and 600 restaurants were opened across 38 states by 1968. The Dog and Suds brand was sold in 1974, and it was allowed to decline. But luckily, franchise owners in Lafayette, Louisiana, bought the trademark and identity rights, which has kept it alive. There are still a dozen restaurants serving up Coney Dogs and Creamy Root Beer that are still operating mainly in the middle of the country, but it's a shadow of its former self. A group of four friends who were franchise owners for McDonald's founded a new restaurant called Sandy's Drive-In in 1956. 
The first location was in Kiwanee, Illinois, and they used a Scottish theme in the design of the restaurant. This was a place where you could get a hamburger, fries, and a milkshake for a total of 45 cents. By the end of the 1960s, Sandy's was successful, but they were still short on cash for expensive television advertising, which was benefiting their competitors. In 1971, the company decided to sell to Hardee's, and the plan was to maintain Sandy's as a division within Hardee's. But by 1973, 90% of the locations had been converted over to Hardee's. It took a few more years, but in 1979, the last remaining Sandy's location was also converted over, ending the Sandy's chain. Buy em by the bag was the motto of Harry Duncan's chain of little tavern hamburger shops. Beginning with the success of the first location, which opened in 1927 in Louisville, Kentucky, little taverns soon sprang up on busy street corners throughout Kentucky, Maryland, Virginia, and Washington, D.C. They were designed to be a place where you could get a quick bite to eat in those early days. At one point, there were close to 50 locations serving the best little burgers around. They were dubbed Heaven sold in a white paper sack. As the years wore on, increasing competition from larger fast food chains eventually drove the little taverns out of business, with the last one officially closing down in 2008. Winkies served three popular sandwiches, the Big Wink, the Great One, and the Ground Rounder, and they also offered hot dogs. The family-owned chain was started by brothers Harold and Bernard Ehrenstein in 1962 in Bridgeville, Pennsylvania. And they also had an advantage because they also operated their very own meat company called Jiffy Steak. It was this meat company that was supplying large amounts of meat to a new chain called McDonald's that gave them the idea to start their own restaurant. With 15 cent hamburgers, the chain was pretty successful. And by 1977, they had 42 stores located in Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Ohio. But when the economy took a turn, they had to file for bankruptcy in 1982, ending their 20 year run. Biff Burger was started in the mid-1950s as a chain called Biff Burger Drive-In by brothers Bruce and Earl Bain. They opened up their first store in Clearwater, Florida. The company grew to have over 125 franchises, from Florida to Canada. Biff stood for best in fast food, and they were known for their 100% beef burgers and the roto-broil process that went into making a Biff Burger. By the late 1970s, the National Biff Burger System and the Biff chain of restaurants went out of business. Out of all the franchises, only two stayed open, and only one location kept the name and architecture. But sadly, that last remaining Biff Burger, located in St. Petersburg, Florida, closed its doors for good in 2021. If you enjoyed this video, click on this playlist to watch even more. And as always, thank you so much for watching.